How's it going, guys? And welcome back for the episode 2 here on the Onyx Wheel. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. Before the video begins, make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below. You can comment just about anything. It really doesn't matter, but it does help my statistics. Other than that, guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Let's go and see if we can reach 15,000 subscribers. It will mean the absolute world to me. Join your daily dose of Dexter by hitting the bell notification and get an update every Every single time that I upload. But without much more fussing around, let's go ahead and dig straight into the video. I have been doing a disgusting amount of sugarcane. I no, 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 wait, guys. I don't think you understand how much sugarcane that I've actually done. If we take a look at Herbalism right here, I got a total of 958 skills, and I have not redeemed any MCMO whatsoever. On top of that, I managed to get my double drop up to level 3, and my extraction up to level 2. Now, I need a little bit more before I can get the next level of sugarcane, but there is not time to do that, because the faction have already started to trench out our base and it is very important that we take part of it so without further ado guys let's go ahead and grab our pickaxe that we made episode one and yeah just get to trenching And just like that, guys, we finished off a good portion of all the trenching. As you can see, there's a little bit left, but that is barely anything. While I have been trenching, the faction have been working hard on getting our base shell up. So let me go ahead and show you guys that. But I just quickly want to show you how much progress we actually made to the trenching. We are almost done. Maybe another hour in the trench and we're pretty much done. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump straight into the base and let me show you guys around. I was not lying when I said that a lot of stuff has happened look at this right here we got a design we got a christmas tree we got houses we got snowmans i mean we got absolutely everything now i'm pretty sure this right here is a 10 by 10 base and i'm not really sure what these tubes are for i guess it's just for like flying up maybe all right so we got like a little system i have no idea what this is this is so amazing though imagine putting in this in as well i didn't know i had no clue that they've, they've done this oh my god it looks so beautiful i'm pretty sure this right here is just gonna be the f home down here we have no idea what that is no idea what this is i'm sorry guys i have no idea okay so that's going to be red flares this is probably gonna be vaults and no idea what that is and then if we go up let's see if we can find our okay so this right here is a room as well i have no idea what we're gonna use all this space for i have no idea but all right that's right here oh wait a second wait a second okay that's why our chests are coming down okay oh my god that looks glorious so this is where we are gonna have all our chests coming down with all our loot so i imagine up here is where we're gonna have all our spawners i don't really see any spawners yet we must not have moved them yet and then we have the roof over here but all right guys that right there was the entire base all the progress that we made pretty damn dope guys looking absolutely amazing now another thing we also need to take a look at before we can kick off this episode is of course the progress on spawners and after i showed you guys this then we pretty much up to date with everything that happened let me see so this right here is pikmin's endermans does really look like a big change to be honest but over here we have definitely made a change last episode we were up to spawners like ish here but now we're all the way down here which is absolutely insane how much progress that we made i do see that we have creepers and iron golems in there so we should get a decent amount of tnt as well but all right guys that is all the things that have happened since the last episode so how about we just get straight into grinding and help out our faction we have now moved all our blazes into the main base which means the box we have underneath the base is just kind of empty and takes up space and since nobody has removed it yet, I thought, oh, why not just go ahead and do that? That also gives me an excuse to show you guys this. That's right, someone in our faction 
thought it would be a good idea to place like 10 bedrock in our trench. Now, let me activate F inspect and call out NL9 for being an absolute idiot. And that's right, because you cannot mine a bedrock and we can't ask to get it removed by world edit. The heck, I tried even throwing eggs at it. Nothing is working, which means we're going to need to explode 1000 pieces of TNT to remove one bedrock but i am just gonna ignore that part and uh, not even take a look at it because that is just so fucking dumb but anyways right here we have it guys all this right here is unnecessary because we already moved absolutely everything the only thing i'm gonna leave is this part right here that i think people might be using we also do have a lot of books down here that we need to get moved up but for now all i'm gonna do is just make a block above it so nobody can go into it and then if somebody wants them they can go down and take them and move them up or else i'm just gonna remove everything so without further ado guys let me go and speed this up and yeah let's just get our old base removed guys and there we go absolutely everything is cleaned off so all we need to do now is whenever we are ready to gen our walls we can just pretty much get rid of the top layer right here and that is it not really sure when that is going to be but look right here this right here is our base about three or four chunks away from the world border very interested to see what is going on there i think we're just gonna have walls behind here because it's way easier to defend not really sure though but anyways guys we got rid of the box in the corner let me go ahead and cut it right here and switch to something a little bit more interesting since we got the main base up today it's very important that we move the spawners as soon as possible because here on the archon spawners goes up in value a little bit at the time so what we're gonna do right now is start setting up all the hobble floors from the chest going right there all the way up as well on the other side have a middle have an obby up and yeah there's a lot of things we need to do today so how about we just dig straight into it well here, here's what i'm thinking right like can you can you go to the north corner or north middle all right, so this right here is the middle. And then we can do that all the way across over to the other end. That gives us two rooms, right? Yeah. Then we can could maybe combine the pigments, endermans, and creepers. I was thinking that it depends. We can't, how... we can't combine it with the IGs. That that has a lamp. How much are like? Let me so see. IG, so, it just depends how many like IGs we like actually get. I mean, like, if you look at F top right now, we're gonna get a lot more IGs than anything. I assume we're gonna get a lot of creepers as well. But IGs and creepers is definitely what we're gonna get the most of. Because I I I have filled up this space before with IGs. So that I was just thinking like I didn't know how hard it was so i guess we just have to keep the the left side just dedicated for igs and then the only thing we can do is combine the enderman zombie pigment and yeah, we can't do that though uh unless you want to have void chest you gotta gotta keep in mind that we need to separate the tnt from all the other loot yeah how do we do that we could so you we have the middle here and then if we just go through the middle how many creepers do we have yeah but i mean we're gonna get a lot more creepers that's yeah. the that's like kind of the so i was thinking that we, can, we could split the enderman zombie pigman farm and the creeper farm in half oh like that yeah that sounds like a good idea so then we will have a total of three rooms right yeah we kind of yeah three rooms all right yeah that, that's what i'm gonna do then cool yeah that sounds good but let's get started all right so we got the layout plan we're gonna have this entire side right here is going to be completely filled up with ig then we're gonna separate this side right here into two rooms having creepers on one side endermans and pigments on the other the only problem is that we are missing a reverse layer right here so i need to go ahead and make that first so i'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these gen buckets right here and quickly find the horizontal nether rack and just close this entire section off from one end to the other make a water layer and have obby on top so without further do guys let me go ahead and do just that and i'll see you guys in a second and there we go guys the reverse layer is now 100 complete kind of i really want to extend the reverse layers one block out so they can't just register from y60 and just reverse up our entire wall and of course, if they shoot a 255, I kind of want to have a block to stop them nuking throughout the entire base. But all right, so far, so good. One of the things we should do now, though, is actually adding void chest and chunk hoppers instead of having a hopper floor. Now, I'm not 100% sure that this is what you want, but the people I talked to in Discord was as confused as I am when they saw these chests. But I guess adding all of the hoppers just to figure out that we need a void chest is kind of a waste of time. And if we add the void chest, it's pretty easy to take down and make the 
the hoppers. So next up, guys, is making the room. Now, I talked shortly about how we are going to do it. I'm going to need to find the middle from this one over here to all the way over to the other end. So I'm going to go ahead and buy three stacks of netherrack. I'm going to go ahead and make a line like this on both sides. So 64 netherrack right here and then have 64 netherrack on the other side as well. And then at some point, these lines right here will meet. And there we go. That's the middle. So now that we got it this far right here, let's go ahead and place eight blocks on each side, just like this. Now, of course, I could just take the coordinates and calculate it, but I'm kind of lazy. So I'm going to do it like this. And here we are, guys. This right here is going to be the middle. So let's get rid of all of this netherrack. And once we've done that, we can pretty much gen it down. Now, I don't really think I want the walls to go all the way down. So I think we're going to have a little room right here, a little like a gap right here so you can just walk through. So let's go ahead and use the horizontal obsidian just like this. So that when we gen the wall from the top and down, we still have access to all the, all the places by just walking under it. Next up is splitting this entire thing into two. So we can separate the creeper loot from the endermans and the pikmin loot. And again, we're just going to do it like this. It makes it a lot easier to go from room to room. And everything that's left to do now is gen down the wall. So let me go ahead and speed this up and I'll see you guys as soon as I'm done. All right, guys, there we go. We have now separated our base into three different rooms. This large room over here is going to be all filled up with iron golems. This room over here is going to be for pigments, endermans, and whatever makes a little bit of money. And then the final room over here, we are going to have all our creeper. Now, if you take a look at my coordinates right now, you can see that this chunk right here, oh shit, this chunk right here ends in this block right here. See, 15. 14 and then we have a new chunk going right here and it starts over there so we can actually fill all of these out right here with void chests if we wanted to so now that we got all the rooms separated up just like this what we need to do next is making all of these pillars as you can see gameplay is already doing it the way he's doing it is that he's separating all the pillars like this that way if you shoot right here the only pillar you will actually be able to shoot in is this one right here and then one that's going to be about right here it's going to be very very hard to kind and all the spawners and you're pretty much required to cannon all of them because yeah as you can see that's quite far down and you can't really set that high so while he is making all the pillars we're gonna do something that is absolutely crucial and something that every single faction building a base should do but before i can do that i'm gonna need obsidian breaker onto my pickaxe so give me like one second here and i'll be right back all right guys here we go there is the obsidian pickaxe that we are looking for and now we can begin extending our reverse layer now the way we do that is that the reverse layer that's going to be right here is going to be able to flow out like this and then we're going to make a block right here so if you see the 255 all it's going to do is that it's going to stack right here and nuke this obsidian right here instead of nuking all the way down the base so doing this on your base prevents people from entering every single layer of your base now i do see we have a little bit of an issue right here because we haven't made any walls yet and that of course means that the water is going to be in the way for printing down below so what i need to do is not only mine all the obsidian all the way around but also block it off with a nether rack so that whenever we are making all the walls the water is not gonna be in the way so without further ado guys let me go ahead and do just that i'll be back as soon as as I'm done. All right, guys, there we go. We got everything lined up perfectly. We just need to remember to remove the netherrack before the grace period ends. But so far, so good, guys. Next step is uh, seeing how far he got with the pillars. Let me get the right pickaxe right here. All right, so it looks like he pretty much finished where we're gonna have all our creepers. Then all we need now is all the pillars for the IGs. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to whenever that is done so we can start placing some spawners. All right, guys, all the pillars is now done, so it's time to move everything. I think we're going to start off with this right here and this one over there. So I'm pretty sure you should just be able to mine it like that. That is four chunk coppers, and that right there is one white chest. Perfect. So let me go ahead and set this up, mine the spawners, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. This right here is all the spawners that the entire faction has. Now, that might not look impressive, but keep in mind, this right here is 62 zombie pigments. Absolutely 
absolutely insane. And what do we have? We have one and a half stack of iron golems. That is insane this close into the map. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and place all the spawners. This is probably going to take a very long time. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here and switch to whenever all the spawners is placed. All right, guys, there we go. All the spawners is now placed. Everything in the new home. And we, of course, we got the void chest and the chunk hoppers underneath it making money. Not really sure how to set up these right here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that up to the faction. But now we finally have the spawners right here. And now they can finally start going up in value. And these right here will be permanently placed, which means we never has to take them down again. But GG, guys, all the spawners in the main base. Absolutely amazing. And I think that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below. You can comment just about anything. It really doesn't matter. But it does help out quite a lot with the statistics. Make sure you subscribe to my channel on your way out. Click the bell notification to join your daily dose of Dexter. Other than that, hopefully you guys are having a fantastic December. And Merry Christmas to all of you.